Well, here's another example where low tech beats out high tech. You know, I, I like to use a lantern a lot of times because it's simple to just carry with you, especially like if you're working on a car, you're just doing something. Uh, you don't want to use a drop light, the cord's in a way. Problem is with all these electronic devices, a lot of times they break after a while. They, they get moisture in them and all this garbage. Now, this is just a simple $5 lantern. Actually, it was 5 bucks with the battery. And um, it's, a, it's a 10 LED light. But the deal is, you know, you got to change the batteries all the time. Well, here we got a rechargeable battery. <laughs> That's what you really want. Now, the other side of it is this, because, well, it's a rechargeable battery, but it depends on your battery charger how much you can recharge. So it's, it's a, you know, it's a 10 LED light. There's nothing to really break on it. It's just LED. Whenever an LED burns out, you got nine more, right? Now, the only thing is, how long could this rechargeable battery last? I'm going to tell you probably 50 years. <laughs> Now this, I actually was able to recharge a little bit and put it on a charger because even though it's not supposed to work as a re to be recharged, I could recharge that maybe a couple of times. But that's about it. As far as um, you know, doing it more than a few times, you're not going to be able to recharge a battery that's not designed for recharging more than a few times. Now the problem is with rechargeable batteries the charger kills them so I'll show you the solution for that well a solution for recharging a battery maybe 500 or a thousand times is the Bedini battery charger rejuvenator I'm getting my mileage out of this thing because that's why I started getting good rechargeable batteries for basically every flashlight I have no electronic garbage you know LED but no electronic just a simple switch and even if the switch goes bad or something like that, you put a little uh, vinegar to knock out the corrosion and WD-40, it'll be good. And I probably get, I could probably use this for the next umpteen years. But then I, I don't need to get no fancy freaking drop light with electronic controls. It costs me 50 bucks. It gets rusty, and I'm sick of buying this kind of crap. This is the only thing i ever seen, well, one of the few things I've ever seen that's really electronic. Not too many things that I've seen electronic are stone-cold reliable like this Bedini battery charger rejuvenator so I'll leave it on there until the bright light turns green put it on setting too and um, it'll be like even though this came in a box probably fairly charged up it'll be fully charged up again so that cost me 10 bucks the light with the cheap battery that you really can't recharge maybe you can do it a couple times if, if you're careful that it, that cost me under 5 bucks so for 15 bucks you know I can use it over and over and over again, like a work drop light, whatever. I mean, if you freaking use a light to look in the closet or something, whatever the hell it is, or you're working on something that's intricate, you know, usually I like these LED lights because they're not too, they got a nice diffused light with the 10, the 10 lights in it, so that's your solution. It's cheap. This thing, this thing is freaking handy because it freaking charges any damn battery there is. That's what I like about it, so. You know, it's got a lot of uses, even automotive batteries, but it'll take a long time to do them, but it'll do them. Okay, so anyway, that's my hot tip, and uh, so, like, if you have a lantern like this, five bucks, you get a ten dollar rechargeable battery, and you got that Bedini charger. You can use it as your work light for, in your car. You can, you know, you could stand this up like this, cause, you know, because it's square in the bottom, I kind of like that feature. You know, if you want to look at the bottom of the car, you could stand it up. You can, uh... You know, you can stand it on its side, won't go nowhere. Um, and it, it's pretty bright. It's pretty bright. You can see down in there pretty good. It's got a nice diffused light to work by. So, And then, like I said, just keep recharging the battery. With that Bedini charger, I can freaking recharge this battery 500 times. And I don't know how long it lasts with probably quite a few hours with LED lights. So, you know, stupid little stuff like that saves you some money. And technology is cool, but there's too many gimmicks out there. That Bedini charger is the only thing I've really seen that's not the only thing, but a lot of technology I find to be very gimmicky and unreliable. But um, that thing with just bringing the batteries back 
you can bring back your rechargeable batteries many more times than with a conventional recharger. So, you know, and I don't see what the hell can go wrong with this. Maybe the switch. You know, maybe I have to soak it in WD-40, but it's nothing. There's nothing to this damn light. There's nothing on it to break, and it floats. It floats if it goes in the water. It's pretty much waterproof. Not much to it. Cheap. And if you break it, it's five bucks, and the battery's still good, right? The rechargeable battery's still good. There you go. Hey, I'm just trying to pass on some freaking things that I do, you know, that, because I look for the most value for the money. That's the whole deal. That's the kind of way I think. The most bang for the buck, once you spend the money, you're cool. You're good to go.